might not expect that running a charity would be very lucrative, but last night Cheryl Atkinson revealed that the head of one nonprofit has made millions, enough to get the attention of the IRS. And its investigation has turned up some very interesting names. Tonight, Cheryl continues her investigation and follows the money to some very high places. EDUCAP is a multi-billion dollar student loan charity run by CEO Katherine Reynolds. It should be really a beautiful event. As we reported last night, it's under investigation by the IRS and Congress for alleged abuse of its tax-exempt status. It charges high interest on charitable student loans and provides lavish perks with millions in compensation for Reynolds and her husband. CBS News has obtained exclusive details of what may have been the biggest charity perk, use of EDUCAP's $31 million private jet, like this one, which costs thousands of dollars an hour to operate. Investigators say for five years, Reynolds jetted family, friends, and luminaries to exotic and faraway destinations that sometimes had little to do with the charity's mission. CBS News has learned that high-profile names on the EDUCAP flight list Senator, include CIA Director I, Leon Panetta, ex-Senators Tom Daschle and Ted Stevens, former FBI Director William Sessions, and Chicago Mayor Richard Daley. According to flight records, Panetta and Daschle, while they were out of public office, accompanied EDUCAP's Katherine Reynolds on flights to private business meetings not related to the charity. Reynolds also took Daschle and his wife on a tour with seven stops in Europe and the Middle East. Ted Stevens, his wife and daughter were along on dozens of flights, hitting destinations like Vail and Aspen before the senator was convicted on corruption charges last fall. And records show Reynolds took Chicago Mayor Richard Daley and his wife on 58 flights, including Turkey, Asia and Sweden. Watchdog Stephen Byrd says money spent on the jet comes off the backs of students with EDUCAP loans costing up to three times more than government loans. Do you think they're acting? like a for-profit company only operating as a charity? Exactly. EDUCAP is the worst case that I've seen of a uh, charity, uh, so-called charity, abusing its tax exempt status. Reynolds wouldn't talk with us. EDUCAP has said its loans are competitive with private companies. As for the jet, EDUCAP has said its use was appropriate. None of the passengers would talk with us, but there's no law against flying on charity jets. Panetta has told Congress he acted in full compliance with tax laws. EDUCAP sold its pricey jet after the IRS began looking into it, but that hasn't ended the controversy or the investigations. Cheryl Ackeson, CBS News, Washington.